Have you ever wondered how much size really matters? It's one of those questions men don't usually say out loud, but it lingers in locker rooms, in quiet thoughts before intimacy, in moments when confidence feels smaller than it should. You might think every woman wants something bigger, but science, not rumors, not online comments, tells a very different story because attraction isn't just about inches. It's about how a woman feels with you and what her brain actually responds to far beyond what you can measure with a ruler. In this video, I'll show you what the latest studies in 2025 reveal about what women truly prefer. Not guesses, not clickbait, real research from universities and global surveys. We'll also talk about what women actually say when asked privately, and how confidence, chemistry, and connection often outweigh physical details. So if you've ever compared yourself, doubted your body, or just wanted to understand what really matters to women, stay with me. You're about to see that science has a reassuring answer, and it's probably not what you expect. I'm Dr. Rosalia Viterbo. Let's talk about what women really want and how you can feel confident in your own skin again. Let's be honest, size has always carried a heavy weight in men's self-esteem, not because it defines worth, but because the world keeps saying it does. Magazines, movies, even jokes among friends, they all send the same message. Bigger is better. But here's the truth. When men believe that message, it creates quiet pressure. It turns curiosity into comparison and confidence into doubt. You start to wonder, am I enough? And sometimes that question follows you into the most intimate parts of your life. I've seen this in my own patients, men who are strong, kind, and healthy, yet still feel anxious about their size. They exercise, eat well, even research online late at night. But the insecurity doesn't go away because they're comparing themselves to unrealistic standards, not real women and not real data. But here's the interesting part. Most women don't think about size the same way men do. Their attraction is shaped by many factors, emotional connection, voice, scent, humor, confidence. And yes, physical features play a role, but not in the way the internet makes it seem. Think about it. When was the last time someone told you that science had actually measured this topic properly? That researchers used real data to understand what women prefer, not assumptions or myths? That's exactly what we'll look at today. We'll break down what studies say about average size, ideal size, and what women genuinely report they care about. And more importantly, how perception, confidence, and emotional connection influence attraction far more than any number. Because in the end, attraction isn't a math problem. It's chemistry. And the science behind that might surprise you in the best way possible. All right, let's go into the real science. Because this topic deserves more than opinions or internet myths. It deserves facts. First, the average and the ideal. What research really shows. In 2025, multiple studies confirmed what earlier research had already suggested. Most women's preferences fall within a normal range. According to a large-scale review published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, the average erect length worldwide is about 5.1 to 5.5 inches, and the average girth is around 4.6 inches. When women were asked about their ideal, most said they preferred something slightly above average, around 6 to 6.5 inches, but not excessively larger. Why? Because comfort, intimacy, and chemistry matter more than a number. In fact, one fascinating study used 3D models and asked women to choose what they found most appealing. The majority picked sizes that were average or just a little above, especially when thinking about long-term partners. Larger sizes were occasionally preferred for short-term or fantasy scenarios, but not for real relationships. That tells us something powerful. What's ideal isn't about extremes. It's about proportion, balance, and comfort, both physical and emotional. Second, the brain overrules the ruler. Here's where biology gets interesting. Attraction starts in the brain, not the body. Neuroscience shows that dopamine, oxytocin, and serotonin, the connection chemicals, play a much larger role in desire than visual factors alone. Women's arousal and emotional attraction are deeply connected. They often respond more strongly to how they feel than what they see. Confidence, humor, emotional safety. These trigger neurochemical responses that enhance intimacy. That's why a man who carries himself with calm confidence can often be more attractive than someone with perfect measurements but low self-assurance. Because her brain is wired to respond to emotional signals, trust, 
warmth, chemistry, not just physical ones. So when you focus on confidence, kindness, and presence, you're actually tapping into what biology already favors. Third, the comfort factor, what women actually say. In clinical settings, when women are asked about what makes intimacy satisfying, most mention comfort and connection. Very few mention size as the main factor. Many even describe discomfort with partners who are significantly above average in girth or length. They mention it can cause pain, reduce pleasure, or make intimacy feel more mechanical than emotional. So while size might seem like the headline, comfort is the real story. Because when both partners feel relaxed, safe, and emotionally present, physical intimacy naturally feels better. There's also a psychological comfort that comes from trust. When a woman knows her partner isn't worried, anxious, or overcompensating, that energy changes everything. She feels it, and it draws her closer. So the takeaway? You don't need to be big. You need to be attuned. Listen. Respond. Be present. That's what creates unforgettable intimacy, not inches. Fourth, the confidence connection. Confidence doesn't mean arrogance. It means self-assurance, being at peace with who you are. And research consistently shows that self-confidence increases perceived attractiveness in both men and women. A 2024 survey from the Kinsey Institute found that women rated confident men up to 40% more attractive, regardless of body size or shape. That's a huge number. Why? Because confidence signals stability. It tells her subconscious that you're comfortable in your own skin and that comfort helps her relax too. If you've ever noticed that some men seem magnetic even without looking like models, that's why. They radiate ease. They don't chase approval. They project security. And that confidence isn't something you fake. It grows when you stop comparing yourself and start appreciating your body for what it can do, not just how it measures. Fifth, the lifestyle link. How to naturally boost sexual health. Here's the part most men overlook. Your body's performance and confidence don't come from numbers. They come from health. Good blood flow, balanced hormones, and strong pelvic muscles matter more for satisfaction than size ever will. So what supports that? Exercise regularly, especially cardiovascular workouts. Better circulation improves not just your stamina, but your overall energy. Eat nutrient-rich foods. Zinc, omega-3s, and magnesium are key for testosterone and vascular health. Sleep enough. Poor sleep can drop testosterone levels by up to 15% in just a week. Manage stress. Chronic stress raises cortisol, which lowers libido. Avoid smoking and heavy drinking. Both affect blood vessels and sensitivity. Even small lifestyle changes can make a noticeable difference. And the bonus? You'll not only feel better, you'll look more confident too. Because health and attraction aren't separate. They're the same system working in balance. Finally, what women truly want. When women describe what makes a man unforgettable, they rarely mention size. They talk about how he makes them feel. Safe, desired, seen. They mention tone of voice, the way he listens, his patience, his warmth. These are qualities no ruler can measure, yet they define attraction. So if you're worried about whether you measure up, remember this. Most women aren't measuring at all. They're noticing how you connect, how you move, how you care. And when you show up with genuine confidence and kindness, the question of size quietly disappears. Because attraction, in the end, is not about anatomy. It's about energy, and that's something you can always build. So let's bring it all together. When it comes to what women truly want, the answer isn't measured in inches. It's measured in how you make them feel. Because science has shown again and again that attraction is emotional first, physical second. The studies tell a clear story. Most women prefer average or slightly above average size. Not extremes, not perfection. Just balance, confidence, and comfort. But here's what matters even more, the connection you build, a relaxed, confident presence, a sense of humor, the ability to listen. Those are the things that stay in someone's memory long after the physical details fade. Think about it like this. Intimacy is not performance. It's partnership. It's about rhythm, communication, and trust, not anatomy. And when both people feel emotionally safe, everything else naturally falls into place. If you've ever doubted yourself, remember, 
Every body is different, and every woman values different things. What truly makes a man attractive is self-assurance, that quiet confidence that says, I'm comfortable being me. Take care of your health, yes. Move your body, eat well, manage stress. Because when you feel good, you carry yourself differently. And that difference is magnetic. So stop chasing a number. Start focusing on presence, connection, and kindness. That's what science and experience both agree women respond to most. Always listen to your body. Respect your partner's comfort. And remember, satisfaction isn't about size. It's about shared understanding, care, and emotional chemistry. You already have what you need to be confident. It's not in a ruler. It's in your energy, your empathy, your attention. So now you know what the research says and what really matters. Not size, not comparison, but connection, confidence, and care. If this video helped you see things differently, take a moment to reflect. You don't have to change your body to be attractive. You just have to understand it and appreciate what it can already do. I always tell my patients, confidence starts with awareness. When you understand your own biology and your partner's needs, everything feels simpler. Health, intimacy, energy, they're all connected. If you'd like to keep learning about the science of confidence, desire, and well-being, subscribe to this channel. Here, we talk about real research, explained with honesty and compassion. No myths, no judgment, just clear answers from a doctor's perspective. And remember, you're more than a number. You're a person capable of connection, respect, and real attraction. Take care of your health, nurture your confidence, and everything else will follow. I'm Dr. Rosalia Viterbo. Thank you for watching. Stay kind to yourself. Stay curious. And as always, take care of your health. See you next time.